Hello, 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 and welcome. I'm Sheila Balgobin, known as the Dream Decipherer, and this is Dream Your Life, Live Your Dream Live, where we talk about all things dreams. Now, last month, or we looked at the role of mothers um, for Mother's Day um, and what possible meanings that they bring to our dreams. Now, this, as uh, Father's Day is tomorrow here in the U.S., as well as several other countries, we'll be looking at uh, fathers and what they could possibly be bringing to the table in our dreams. So just like mothers, fathers in our, appearing in our dreams can have a multitude of meanings and will be influenced by our own relationships with our fathers. So, um, or father figures, if not necessarily a father, it could be an uncle, a brother, or whatever. So, um, it, they could be representing fathers in general, our relationships with fathers, or even, you know, in a, in a wider sense, Father God, God the Father. So, it depends on our where we are in our relationships with with our fathers um, heavenly or not and what and perhaps being a father oneself um, so to understand what it may mean um, to dream of a father or father figure um, it would be worthwhile to consider uh, the relationship that a person has with their dad and what that may be representing in the dream. So it's not unusual, particularly when we become parents ourselves, that for us to dream of either of our parents um, or when we're facing a difficult situation of some kind and um, or dealing with issues with our own children. So as children, we learned by mimicking what we see. So, uh, you know, whether our parenting is good, bad, or indifferent, um, they become the pattern or archetype that um, we base our relationships with either our parents or with our own children. So, you know, it can influence what we think about parenthood, how we f f think about fatherhood, how we think about um, re how we relate to our parents as well as our children. So once our own children come along, it's not surprising that um, we may either fall in line with the, the pattern set down by watching our, our own parent or in the case and in the opposite sense, we may try to get away from the experience of our, our parent um, and do the exact opposite. It just depends on context and what that ex parenting experience was like for the person. So it's at times like that, it, we would really have to consider and reflect on about our relationship with our fathers and what that parenting experience with them was like um, and whether it was something that we wished to emulate in our own family lives or, or throw, out, throw it all out and, and start from scratch, go in a different direction. But some of the qualities that um, are associated with fathers or fatherhood is that of support and guidance, control, discipline, perhaps, power, you know, the, the male kind of energy, competition, um, protection, of course, um, perhaps love and sacrifice. I mean, you know, parents will, will do whatever it takes to, to nurture and protect their children. But they could also, in a negative sense, represent some kind of resentment or anger or criticism or shame um, and even ambivalence or rejection. So depending on what our experience as children was like with our own fathers, um, there will have an influence and impact on how we go forward in our own lives as parents. And Often those relationships are with our parents are just complicated and very nuanced. So, you know, there could be gradations. You know, some days you really love your dad and other days you can't stand him um, or aspects of their, his behavior. But as we grow and mature, our um, 
so-called innocent adoration, you know, you know, our parents can do no wrong and they're perfect and they're wonderful, um, becomes slightly uh, jaded. Um, as the reality sets in, we, we grow up and develop our own thoughts and feelings and reactions to things, we start to see the flaws in our parents and our dads. Our, they, they were our heroes when we were little because they, you know, that was all we knew. But as we grow and change, our perspective changes and maybe, you know, we start to realize that our parents have feet of clay. They're not perfect. So um, you may also, in terms of your dreams, see fathers as uh, shorthand, if you will, a mental shorthand um, for exploring um, what your internalized uh, feelings and thoughts are about around fathers. And remember, we've absorbed that information about fathers and fatherhood from childhood and accepted that as that is the way things were. But um, that, that um, perspective can sometimes turn against us and become um, what we, is called psychologically the internal critic. You know, that, that internal parent that is always, you know, pointing a finger at you um, and telling you what you're doing wrong and how you should do things better. Um, so it could be that this father figure has become turned against us in a sense and we've internalized that. Um, you know, like big boys don't cry and, you know, just man up and toughen up and all of those kinds of things, those kinds of messages that may have been, we have absorbed um, as we were growing up and start to, to work against us as adults because we've internalized that, that conversation and it, it runs on autopilot. We don't even realize that it, that that it's going um, on this inner conversation. This inner critic is is actually shaking a finger at us, um, but we are triggered and we react. Um, so especially those messages that that uh, deny or reveal any kind of vulnerability um, or makes you feel isolated and unsupported. So this a uh, dream like that coming up may be. Um, uh, a call, as I always say, dreams are a call to action, but it may be just uh, a call for you to, to step back and recognize that you've got this internal critic um, running on autopilot that um, just basically drags you down um, and makes you feel bad. Now, to give you an example of what I mean by this internal, internalized critical parent, um, it's perhaps a, a highly competitive father, and that internal voice is saying, win at any cost. You know, and I worked on Wall Street for, <laughs> for a number of years, and I can tell you what that kind of win at any cost um, has can do to people in terms of um, doing things that taking huge risks with other people's money um, and coming a cropper and people like you and me end up paying for that. So that's the kind of thing that internalized dialogue that's going on that is pushing us to, to perhaps be more reckless, to, you know, to win at any cost, no matter who we hurt or how we, you know, how we get that success. So it's, again, it's about picking apart um, this, the messages that, heart, that come along packaged in that father figure. So as you reflect upon your relationship with your father, um, you actually may find that you have contradictory feelings about that. Um, perhaps he was a, a, you know, a great coach and always encouraged you. Uh, and, but he, you know, this kind of dismissed or, or made fun of you liking to, to draw or to do things that are um, more artistic and more gentle, if you will, less masculine. 
So it's, it's again, you, we have this bundle of emotions and thoughts and feelings around how we perceive fathers and fatherhood. And all of these complicated feelings are natural. We're not, you know, these one-dimensional beings. There's a, a whole lot of things and influences that come into the mix um, and present themselves in various ways in our dreams as a call to kind of, hey, look at this. Um, this may be important. You need to look at this and, th and think about it rather than just being triggered and reacting. So it, these, when these dreams come up, it's a, a good opportunity to, to kind of step back um, from the, the more emotional or emotive side of, of what comes up with fathers and fatherhood um, and say, do I really believe that? Is that really me or is that somebody else programming me or having had um, a chance to program me? But it, it's um, not only negative self-talk that may develop around um, our, our father figures, our parental figures. Fathers and dreams may also symbolize positive qualities um, that we see in our, our fathers during times of need. So on the, on the flip side, um, to you or to someone, that the, a father may represent confidence and good humor. Um, he, may, he may appear, or a father figure may appear in your dream when you're, you're feeling uncertain or feeling sad. Um, and uh, that's a, perhaps symbolizing um, uh, a strength and an example that you can draw upon um, or to find those qualities or recognize those qualities within yourself. So, you know, you look, perhaps you saw your, your, your father as someone to look up to. Um, and to, that has qualities that you wish to actually emulate. So um, you can dream of an inspiring father figure to, to help you to consciously make choices um, or to help you to reach certain goals. Now, if your parent has passed away, um, if, if their dad has, has passed on, I mean, his appearance in a dream may be... Um, to, to, to be your cheerleader from the other side when you maybe have had a significant um, achievement in your life and you know um, within yourself that your dad would be proud of you. Perhaps that dream is just to, to uh, a sense of reassurance that, you know, your parent is still loves you, still watches over you, and still cheers you on, um, even from the other side, when you have done something that they would be proud of. So, you know, it's, their fathers can appear when there are significant changes in our life, um, perhaps pre pre appearing as a guide uh, to give support or advice. So there's, fathers and dreams can represent reassurance when a decision has to be made um, or that you're feeling doubt about something. But it's always important to remember that the people who appear in our dreams are not necessarily themselves, but represent aspects of the dreamer. So the, the father figure that appears in a dream can be more symbolic and less personal, actually directly related to your relationship with your parent. So, you know, we use the word father in, in various contexts, including in a religious sense, you know, serving um, whether you're talking about a priest or you're talking about or God um, as, as a, you know, a, a divine parent. So um, a, a father figure appearing in a dream, for instance, may symbolize um, your, your search for meaning in your life, particularly a spiritual meaning, spiritual values, or, um, so, or either reconnecting with those values that you may have learned as a child or finding a different path completely. So again, it all depends on context. What is it? about father um, as a symbol that resonates with you, whether in a positive or negative sense. I mean, in, the, in that way, father becomes an archetype. It becomes a, a general pattern that uh, we use 
to, to the, uh, base um, our own uh, attitudes and, and reactions and, and actions to different situations and different people. So the fathers may appear as a source of, of inspiration and comfort um, or deep connection with, with the divine. Again, it all depends on where we are in our lives and what our experiences have been with regard to fathers and fatherhood. Um, you can also look at um, father figures in a dream that referring to um, institutions. Um, you know, there are um, fathers, the fathers of, of um, modern science, the father of this, the father of that. So, you know, in terms of taking action and creating things, um, uh, being founders of things, the father of modern medicine. I mean, so we, even in our language, um, there are connotations that are associated with fathers and fatherhood. Um, for example, Newton is, is, has been named the father of modern science. So, and other key figures have, have come up throughout history and have been fathered um, into our daily language. So um, that could also and symbolize uh, being able to, to create something or to do something of importance. So um, fathers and dreams can appear to uh, signify a specific quality um, that may be relevant to a specific time and place. Um, for example, a father could appear in your dream at a time in your life when um, authority figures play an imp are an important issue, whether in a negative or positive sense. Um, you may be, that may be a call to, for you to question your own authority or someone in your life who has authority or if you perceive as having authority. Um, so you may dream of them as a father figure. So, um, dreams of fathers can also occur, again, when you're feeling lost and unsure and of what to do next. So that may be that the father in this case represents wisdom and experience. So dreaming of fathers in the end is, can be uh, an ind indicative of different qualities that either we want to cultivate, want to get rid of, or um, want to experience in some way in our lives and in, during our waking lives, that is, and to reflect on what it is that we believe about fathers and about being a father if you're a man. So the, it, it can provide, these dreams can provide an opportunity to question whether what we believe and think and how we act is actually accurate and whether those, those thoughts and beliefs actually are serving us well or are they hampering us in some way. But again, it's all about context and what it means to you. So what my dream about my father, um, who usually comes to, to kind of remind me that um, I am his little maverick and I'm still his little maverick um, and have to do things my own way. Um, sometimes to my detriment, but there, there you go. <laughs> but so it's, it's important to not get caught up in the chairs and tables of it and not take it so literally. Fathers are symbols, just a, yet another symbol that, that appears in our dreams. And what is it about that symbol that resonates with you? So there you have it. Um, if you're having uh, dreams about fathers or fatherhood or you're about to become a father and perhaps um, are dreaming more about that, that role that you're stepping into or have already stepped into, let's talk about that. Um, a happy Father's Day and I will be back again with another one. Take care. Bye-bye.